Now this is what I call the global village. The same information is available at the same moment from every part of the world. We cannot trust our instincts or our natural physical responses to new things. They will destroy us. How are we to get out of the maelstrom created by your own ingenuity? Edgar Allan Poe has a story called The Descent into the Maelstrom. Poe imagines the situation in which a sailor who has gone out... You know, the ways of God and nature are not as our ways. Our models having not that vastness, that profundity, or depth. When I was young, I fished with my brother out beyond the vortex of the maelstrom. We found great bounty in those cross currents. We hauled in a day what the timid could not net in a week. It was easy wealth, but gotten at a horrible risk. Our timing was all important. We could reach port safely only during the 15 minutes of slack tide. On that day, we knew the tide would be quiet at eight. Thus did we blunder into a cruel fate. We'd already lost our only route of escape when the sky unleashed a tempest. The heaving sea swallowed my brother. And I was swept into the chaos of the maelstrom. I could only await my eventual plunge into the abyss. With all hope lost, I found myself idly studying the action of the vortex. Some objects did not fall, but were whirled up to the level of the sea. There it lay my salvation. I tied myself to an old steamer trunk. And I abandoned my doomed ship. Thus did I free myself from oblivion. Rescuers were old mates of mine. And yet they would not believe that my experience had been real. The huge vortices of energy created by our media present us with similar possibilities of evasion, of consequences, of destruction. By studying the pattern of the effects of this huge vortex of energy that, in which we're involved, it may be possible to program a strategy of evasion and survival. I've told my story many times since, and no one has ever believed me. Now I've told it to you. But I do not expect that you will show any more faith 